AI image generators have become so good that sometimes you honestly can't tell anymore whether an image was created by AI or shot with a real camera. So today, we're testing the ultimate discipline, photorealistic characters. Which AI model gets closest to real humans? Let's find out. Number one, let's start with an ice cold winter portrait. Nano Banana looks good, but a little pale. Nano Banana Pro is very photorealistic, but it feels more like a selfie than a magazine cover. Mid Journey, on the other hand, does what Mid Journey always does. It brings its own very strong aesthetic. Honestly, you could slap a magazine logo on this and be done. Kling, yeah. Unfortunately, you can clearly see it's AI generated. GPT delivers solid quality. The breath condensation, that actually looks very realistic. Flux looks okay too, but the eyes feel a bit unhinged. And the breath looks less like cold air and more like someone chain smoking in winter. Number two, Surfer's Paradise. Nano Banana delivers a good result. The pro version looks very realistic, but also a bit safe. Mid Journey stays very portrait focused and creates believable, photorealistic characters. Kling once again has that unmistakable high I'm AI look. GPT delivers another solid result. Flux is also photorealistic, but the lighting and shadows are very harsh. So let's zoom in because faces never lie. Nano Banana looks extremely realistic, closely followed by GPT. Mid Journey has a tiny AI look, but really just barely. Flux is slightly overstylized. And yes, this is where small details start to matter. Number three, ultra short prompt, almost no guidance. Now, the models can really show their creativity or completely mess it up. Nano Banana zooms way out and focuses more on the apartment than the character. Mid Journey stays portrait oriented with friendly, likable characters. But in the lower image, it looks like a finger is missing. Classic AI beginner mistake. Kling is, no surprise, definitely the weakest here. GPT and Flux both do a good job. Number four, ultra long prompt. Very detailed, lots of specifics. That's why the images look quite similar this time. Nano Banana looks slightly artificial, but Nano Banana Pro looks like an actual human. Mid Journey once again focuses heavily on portrait photography. Interestingly, Kling performs better with a very detailed prompt. For the other models, prompt length doesn't really change image quality that much. GPT delivers strong quality again, and Flux still a bit overcooked. Let's zoom in one more time. Honestly, Nano Banana Pro and GPT are the hardest to identify as AI here. If you showed these to someone without context, good luck guessing. Number five, close up, focused on the eyes. And this one produced some very interesting results. Nano Banana looks a bit plastic. Nano Banana Pro, however, looks extremely real. Mid Journey is fully locked into magazine cover mode. Aesthetic first, always. I'll skip cling here, no need to hurt feelings. GPT looks good again. It's kind of a mix between Nano Banana Pro and Mid Journey. Flux, yeah, this prompt just wasn't its thing. Number six, a firefighter after an operation. This time, almost all results look solid. Only Kling looks a bit artificial again, and Fluxmax overdid it with the ash on the face. Mid Journey stays very portrait focused, as expected. Overall, surprisingly strong round. Number seven, portrait in a cafe. Mid Journey still makes occasional beginner mistakes. The arm of the woman in the lower image makes it difficult to drink coffee, unless that's some new yoga technique. Nano Banana Pro once again aims for extreme realism. Except for Kling, all other models did a good job here. Number eight, warm summer rain in New York. Nano Banana looks slightly artificial. The Pro version is darker, but still realistic. Mid Journey once again focuses heavily on portrait aesthetics. Kling looks like a video game. A good one, but still a game. GPT's lighting feels a bit unnatural for summer rain this time. And with Flux, 
I've noticed something interesting. More than once, the cheaper Pro model actually looks better than the more expensive Flux Max. Number 9. Business Shoot. We're nearing the end, and the pattern is very clear now. Nano Banana Pro, extremely photorealistic. Mid-Journey, friendly, stylish characters. GPT, a balanced mix of both. Flux still tends to exaggerate realism just a bit too much. Number 10. Outdoor hiking. Very impressive. With Nano Banana Pro, you genuinely can't tell anymore that this was AI generated. Mid Journey keeps its signature aesthetic. Kling is better than usual, but still artificial. GPT and Flux both deliver solid results. Before the final verdict, one last test. I used a very simple prompt, almost no details. The models had to decide everything themselves. Character, hairstyle, clothing, background. When you run this prompt multiple times, something interesting happens. With most models, the results stay very similar, except for Midjourney. Midjourney actively changes the undefined elements every time. That makes it especially powerful for inspiration. And if inspiration is what you're after, this matters a lot. So what's the conclusion? Kling clearly performed the weakest overall. In most images, it's obvious they're AI-generated. Flux aims for extreme realism, but usually overdoes it slightly. Nano Banana Pro creates images that genuinely look like real people, but sometimes the results feel a bit boring. Mid Journey creates very likable magazine cover style characters, but occasionally makes mistakes and doesn't quite reach top tier realism. ChatGPT sits right in the middle. High quality realism with friendly, believable characters. Now you've seen enough to decide which model fits your workflow best. If this comparison helped you, you know what to do. Thanks for watching. Now go out there and create something awesome.